Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the importance of monolayers in chemistry. All right, so what is a monolayer? Well, let's take a look. Mono means one, and layer means layer. So, a monolayer is just something with one layer. And my favorite example of that is something called a micelle. And what a micelle is, is a monolayer that's actually formed itself into a sphere. So here we can see our basic layer, or segment, is something that looks like this. And what happens is that this sphere part is hydrophilic, which means it likes water, and the tail is hydrophobic, which means it wants to stay away from water. So here's your molecule, and it has these two segments, and so if you have another one floating out there, it will align right next to the, this one like this, because remember that like attracts like, and so these two hydrophilics want to bond with each other, and these two hydrophobics also want to bond with each other. So, if you get a bunch of them, they're all going to line up just like this. And this is how you create a monolayer. Now, why is this micelle in a sphere and not in a line like this? Well, in this case, this is going to be in water. And so what that means is that all of these hydrophobic parts, otherwise known as tails, really want to escape from the water because remember, water is very polar Anything that's hydrophobic is going to be nonpolar. So all of these tails start to turn in on each other. And the hydrophilic balls are fine with water, so they exist touching the solution. And then after you have enough of these all combining, you have this big sphere and it's a micelle so that all these hydrophobic portions are completely protected. So this may seem really kind of abstract and chemistry oriented, but actually every soap or detergent you've ever used was a monolayer and it was a micelle. So the reason that soap works is because if you have a plate with some food on it, and usually our food is pretty greasy, so it's pretty hydrophobic, uh, this soap or micelle will take your little food particle and trap it in here, and then it takes it away from the plate so when we're kind of, you know, using grease and cutting grease with soap, what we mean is that we're letting little micelles surround our greasy substance and carry it away down the drain. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been The Importance of Monolayers in Chemistry. Mm -hmm.